time for your lunch break, produce man. Michael Marks is here with the melons right now. Hey, Michael. It, yeah, uh, we're on a search and rescue mission for a really good melon here. Uh, and, uh, you know, this melon here, this honeydew melon, is probably one of the most difficult melons to find a really good one. In fact, I've often said that the honeydew melon is like, uh, is like a friend. you got to go through ten good ones, to, uh, ten bad ones to find one good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, the honeydew is very, very interesting. A couple things I look for. Well, first of all, i got to tell you. Uh, that the honeydew melon this time of year, late summer, early fall, probably the best time of year that you're going to have a better chance of finding a good honeydew melon. Because this time of year, when they're ripening at the end of summer, early fall, uh, that's when you're really going to find some good ones. Couple things I look for. First of all, you want to make sure there's absolutely no green tinge on that melon at all. No green tinge from stem uh, to blossom in. No green tinge. It has has to have this beautiful white pearl. Uh, look to it. Uh, also, I look for these sugar marks. Now, sugar marks, that's my cousin from, from Louisiana. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I look for these sugar marks this time of year. Look at that. I got, I got really giddy when I saw this on the stand. I said, that's the one I'm taking. I'm taking this home. Now, you, this is one of those melons you got to leave out at room temperature for about 48 hours, maybe 72 hours. And uh, you got to cover it with a, a, a nice clean uh, tablecloth. <laughs> tablecloth, no, that's kind of big, nice clean uh, kitchen cloth, and uh, just cover it, keep it out of the open air, and every day I want you to put your hand underneath that cloth and, and kind of feel this melon. When it starts getting a little velvety, a little sticky, that's when you know the sugars are coming out. This is the sweetest melon of all melons. A good cantaloupe, 12 to 14 percent sugar content. This honeydew melon, 16 to 17 percent sugar content. Now most of the world actually knows this as white entabe. That's the name they know in France and Algeria. In 1911, there was a guy at a hotel in New York that ate it for the first time, sent the seeds to a friend of his in Colorado, a guy by the name of John Cager, by the way. John Cager was the most well-known melon breeder in all of the world at that time. He discovered it was actually a white Antibes from France, and he's the guy who renamed it Honeydew Melon because it is indeed sweet as honey. 16, 17% sugar in here.